Somebody call Instagram and give me that blue tick because I'm big time now. No, I'm just joking. But 11,100 followers. That's how many I've got within the last 60 days or just over 60 days and I'm proud of that. So today I want to show you the exact system I use to get all of those followers and uh, you're literally just going to be able to replicate the same process that I went through. But before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed with your notification bells turned on. Let's get started with this video. Okay guys, so you'll notice today I'm not wearing a hat for the first time in a long time and that's because hair transplant update, the sprouters are starting to come through. Now uh, this is a, a very, very happy day. I'm about two months in, so I'm ahead of schedule and give it another like two or three months and this will start looking quite presentable. I'll be able to start pulling it forward, get skin fade on the side and uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, I'm looking forward to it. So there's a little hair transplant update for you, but you're not watching that for my hair, you're only watching this because you wanna know how to get 10,000 followers within about 60 days. So uh, today I'm gonna go through the exact process that I used to get 10,000 followers. Um, but it's important that you understand why um, I'm growing my Instagram at the moment in the first place. Uh, because when I first started my personal brand, I think my camera's on the wonk. Uh, okay, we're good. When I first started my personal brand, I just started on YouTube. And by the way, my YouTube is at now on 10,000 subs, which is amazing. I was gonna do a giveaway in this video, but I can't for the life of me think of something to give away, which is more valuable than I've already done in giveaways. So I'm gonna do that on Friday. So hold tight for Friday's video and I'm gonna do some huge giveaway. Just don't know what it's gonna be yet. Um, so thank you to each and every one of you guys who are subscribed. It's, it's amazing that I've hit 10,000 now and hopefully it's just gonna keep growing and growing and growing. Uh, so yeah, back to Instagram. When I first started my personal brand, I just focused on YouTube because I thought video content was the way forward, which it is. But not what I quickly realized was not everybody has time to watch fully fledged YouTube videos every day or every week. Um, and other people just want short bursts of content, pictures and short videos. Um, and so I decided that I was missing out by not having an Instagram page. So uh, around the end of June this year, I created a business Instagram profile and started kind of posting on it a little bit endlessly, mindlessly. And um, you can see here, I just got some, oh, random pictures. There's me on a, on a hill in Wales somewhere with a leaf emoji. So not much valuable content there. And I just wanted to start growing it. And I realized it was such a slog because what I was doing was I was just uploading a picture, putting some hashtags on it and hoping that people would follow me. And then obviously mentioning it on my YouTube videos to try and get people away from YouTube and onto my Instagram. Now this was a long process. I mean, I was like posting pictures to like 50 followers and it was just really annoying and like a really just disheartening process. And I see a lot of people going through the same thing on Instagram, where they're just posting pictures every now and then with okay captions and a couple of hashtags that they've just thrown in there and hoping that their page will grow. And uh, this is just not the way to do it. It is the most inefficient way to run an Instagram page. And it was not until I hired a content creator who I, I hired someone who actually creates ads and content for my clients that they had a word with me and said, look, Jordan, I think I can help you on your personal profile as well. And uh, they kind of gave me a few pointers as to where I was going wrong. And when I started implementing these changes that they suggested, everything changed and my page started growing at a ridiculous rate. Um, and what he said was me first, what he said to me first of all, he said, Jordan, for a page to grow, for an Instagram page to grow and be successful, your content needs to have three things, okay? It needs to have these three things. Like you, 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 you can implement the strategy that I'm gonna use in this video and I'm gonna take, teach you in this video, but if you do not have these three crucial elements for your content, then it's worthless, you, you just won't grow. Um, he said to me that your content needs to be consistent, it needs to be engaging and it needs to be valuable. Okay, now I'm just gonna go through all three of these and break them down for you. Consistent um, is pretty self-explanatory. What he means here and what, what, what I mean here is posting on your Instagram page regularly. Now this is like social media marketing 101. If you want to grow your client's page, you wanna grow your page, then you need to make sure that you're posting consistently. At the very, very, very least, you need to be posting on Instagram once a week, 
Okay, now you can get away with once a week. If you're like a personal brand builder, um, then yeah, definitely you can get away with once a week. If you're like a business, then you really wanna be posting like five times a week plus. Um, ideally, I mean, to actually, I mean, this type of thing takes a lot of time. Um, I mean, I'm posting like two or three times a week max. I am gonna be starting to up that like to five times a week very, very soon. Um, but if you can aim for somewhere around two or three times a week, I think that's gonna be the sweet spot initially to start off with, with that whole kind of time versus consistency. Um, so that's where you need to be. Um, you need to be consistent with your posting. And then you want to make sure that you are providing value. So you need to be providing value to your target audience. You need to think about who your target audience is. Now, for me, it's pretty self-explanatory. I want to target young, old, middle-aged entrepreneurs. I don't know why I said age there, it's, it's irrelevant. I want to target entrepreneurs, people who are stuck in nine to five, people who want more out of their life, people who might be interested in social media marketing. So I wanted to make sure that all of my posts and all of my content was relevant to social media marketing. So with all of my posts, um, I was, let's see if I can find one of my old ones here. Um, I mean, this is just like a generic kind of uh, entrepreneurial type post. Uh, this is me, you can't see, uh, this is me sitting um, on my Mac just over there in the corner at uh, 5 a.m. and I'm talking about a book I just read called The Morning Miracle, which those of you who know me will know I absolutely love this book. And I'm providing valuable to people who are in a position where they don't have a lot of time to work. So I'm reaching out to people who have got a nine to five and I'm telling them that you should start working in the morning and working on a side business, which you can use to then ditch a nine to five. Um, so I'm providing value in each and every one of my posts and you want to be making sure that you're doing the exact same thing. And uh, even if providing value doesn't always mean providing information and teaching someone something, providing value can be, for instance, if someone's following you because you're a fashion page, you're providing value because you're wearing nice clothes and you're wearing clothes that they might want to wear themselves, you can provide value in that visual way as well. Or if you're a model and people are just following you for satisfaction because you're a good looking person, you're a hot girl, a hot guy, and people just want to follow you because they love what you look like then you're still providing value to them because what you are doing is you are feeding the core reasons as to why they followed you in the first place so that is value um, and then we have engagement so I mean that you want to create engaging content you want to try and ask questions on your posts so you want to start I think I've got a um, I've got loads on my Instagram. I can't be bothered to go through them all. So just go for, through my Instagram, Jordan Platten UK, and you'll see that lo lots of my posts I have, I can start off with a question. So I say, what do you prefer? Or what do you think of this? Or what do you think of that? Or what are your goals for 2000, uh, 2018? And what you're doing then is you are prompting people to comment on your image or like your image. And you are making them, you're, you're creating fans. You're creating friends and you're creating fans of people who are going to be coming back to your content and engaging with it again and again and again. Now, with regards to comments you want to make sure that you reply to every single comment on your Instagram photos I do I reply to every comment I reply to every YouTube comment I reply to every um, message that I get on social media as well like one thing that's really important to me one thing that um, that I've always said that it's really important is that I will respond to absolutely everybody who reaches out to me. And that's something that you want to do, especially when you're first starting to grow your Instagram page, because you want to start to create a group of true fans who will keep coming back to your content. So those are the three things that you need to have to make sure that your Instagram is going to grow at a good rate. So we've got, again, we've got consistency, we've got value, and we have engagement. Now, um, engagement. <laughs> um, now, there is something else that you can do, um, which, is very valuable for your page and I think it actually contributes to why my page grew so fast as well um, and that is consistency across your actual visuals and how good your images look because you want to have professional images if you can um, I mean iPhones and Samsung's and all smartphones these days create really fantastic imagery and um, so you just want to make sure that your photos are not pixelated and they are high quality but also if you can come up with some kind of theme for your Instagram page um, a theme for your feed your Instagram feed then I feel like well I don't feel like it's a fact that you will grow at a faster rate because people will see your page and it's got some kind of aesthetic to it so uh, if you haven't been on my page before then please do have a look um, but you can see here that my page my theme that I adopted was black and white so these are old pictures here and I chose to then adopt a theme which is I have black and white um, images with me in colour so let me just see if I can get up one of these images here so there's me sitting at a Starbucks, reading The Morning Miracle, 
uh, black back, background is in black and white and I'm in colour there. And, and that was the theme I went for and I, that's the consistency that I wanted to go for. But you'll notice that these high-end fashion bloggers, these people, the people that have big Instagram accounts uh, uh, away from the likes of like Gary Vee and that, they have an aesthetic Instagram feed and that's a way for you to separate yourself from your competition, especially when you are in a niche like social media marketing where you have a lot of competition and you want to stand out from everybody else. Sorry guys, my battery just died in the camera so I'm now upstairs plugged into the Mac, um, which is actually alright because I want to take you onto the Mac in a moment anyway. Now, where was I? I was just moving on to my secret source. So we've just covered all the basics, all the things that you've heard a million times over, good content, good value, good engagement, all of that. But now I'm going to reveal to you what it is, the, the kind of engine that is that is powered or the fuel that is that has driven um, my Instagram forward and that has enabled me to grow so quickly. Um, I have implemented a strategy which is um, funnily enough um, implementing the same things that I preach about with my clients and the service that I use and that is paid advertisement okay so what I've been doing on my Instagram is I've been using Instagram adverts okay through the Facebook advert manager because Facebook own Instagram and you can run paid digital advertisements on Instagram through Facebook. Now I'm going to make this video on the presumption that you already know how to make Facebook adverts. If you don't already um, then just head over to the Facebook blueprint it will show you very very simply how you can make an ad manager account. I've probably got a video on my YouTube somewhere which has already covered it um, but most of you guys who are watching this are going to be students or people who are involved in social media marketing who would already know at least how to create a very Facebook <coughs> basic Facebook advert. Now what I want to show you today is um, in particular how to create an Instagram story advert because this is what I've been using to grow my Instagram page. I've been using Instagram stories to target people in my niche um, and invite them over onto my uh, my Instagram profile so they can engage <clears throat> I've got a tickle in my throat and uh, yeah and just reach out and say hi so let's jump onto the map. So I'm going to presume that you know what this page is um, if you haven't seen it at all this is Facebook Ads Manager this is where you create Facebook ads those of you that are involved in social media marketing you would have definitely seen this screen before now if you haven't and you do want to know how you can uh, create your first advert just go onto the Facebook blueprint give it a quick Google search or um, Google how to create a Facebook ad manager account and it's very very simple and when you click create ad it's going to bring you to this page and this is where you select your objective. Now an Instagram story ad is a traffic advert so we want to select traffic um, because we're driving traffic from stories onto uh, your Instagram profile. Um, so we won't bother naming this and we'll just run through this quickly so you can understand it. Now again those of you guys who are in who understand Facebook ad manager you'll know this is the, this is the place where you choose your targeting. So let's just say we're a fashion blogger and we have a fashion brand which is similar to Gucci for instance. Then let's target people from the United Kingdom, the United States, uh, let's chuck Europe in there as well. And let's include people who are interested in Gucci for whatever reason. Um, now what we want to do is we want to make sure that this is just targeting people on Instagram stories. So we want to hit edit placements and we want to go over um, onto stories, untick everything else, so untick absolutely everything apart from Instagram stories. Then we want to set our budget, so let's just set something that you can afford now, it goes about saying the more money you put in, the more followers you're going to be getting out of this, the more targeted followers. So let's just start on £5 a day. Now you can see here the estimated daily reach, we've got 2.3 thousand to 15 thousand people we're going to be reaching per day, that's targeted people who are interested in Gucci in that area, and we're going to be getting between 400 and 260 visits to our profile from a £5 a day advert spend, which is loads of people. Um, so just click continue. Now this is the page where you create your actual advert. So we have the option between carousel ad, single image or single video. I have found that a single image um, performs the best because it's just throwing it up for a quick burst and you can have all of your information um, straight there on one image. So imagine someone is flicking through Instagram stories, they're looking at what their friends are doing, they're on nights out and then suddenly your image is going to throw up there. If it's a video, they may think that it's linked to someone that they're already following. If it's an image, you can make it obvious that this is an advertisement and they need to come visit your profile. 
So Facebook has given us here the recommended pixel sizes and the recommended image sizes. You can edit this on Photoshop or on Canva. I very simply, my advert is very simply just a nice photo of me. You've probably already seen the photo. It's me sitting down, this profile image up the top here actually, sitting down on some stairs, pretending I'm on the phone with a coffee in front of me and I've just got some text at the top that says, do you want to learn about marketing? And at the bottom it says swipe up because the way that people actually uh, visit your profile and the visit your link is a swipe up on the story and then it will take them to your profile and that's as simple as they need to be. It's literally just, do you want to learn about marketing and then swipe up. So you just upload your image and uh, just select your website URL. Now this website URL is just gonna be instagram.com forward slash your username and then that'll make sure that when people swipe up, they're going to your profile. Now that is how you create an Instagram story ad. It's very, very simple. Just a recap though on how quickly you can grow your page. Imagine if 40 to 260 people are visiting your page every single day. Now if your content is right, your value is right, and your engagement is right, okay, you are gonna be converting these people so well. I mean, just from this alone, my five pound a day advert spend, you should be getting at least 50 followers a day. Okay, if your, ad, if your content and everything else is on point, then you should be getting at least 50 followers a day. Um, plus what you'd be getting organically from posting pictures and, um, and following people who are relevant to you and uh, using hashtags correctly and engaging with people, you're gonna be looking at between 50 and 150 people that you'll be getting following you every single day. And that's just on a five pound a day advert budget. Now when I was doing this, I was doing it about 15 pounds a day and I was running it for two months, okay? So it was fairly expensive, but I wanted to make sure that every single follower I had was valuable and every single follower was following me because because they were genuinely interested in the content that I had to throw out there instead of just mindlessly targeting like random people and hoping for the best. Uh, so that is it guys, that is literally all I've been doing to grow my Instagram profile. I've been practicing what I preach to my clients using the exact same strategies that I sell to businesses on a daily basis and um, just on my own personal business and personal brand. So I hope you got value from this video. If you did like it, then please do share it with someone else. Um, I might do a video about how I've kind of grown my YouTube um, up to where it is at the moment. I might do that in a couple of weeks time so you can understand that side of things. And if you do like this video, drop me a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed with your notification bells turned on. I'll see you on Friday, guys. Cheers.